crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. This video is all about the Dino Roar Suite by Stampin' Up! I'm going to explain to you how you can get this suite and all kinds of accompanying products for only $99 in our new starter kit special. During the months of July and August 2019, you can join Stampin' Up! Become a Demonstrator, which will get you a discount, and you can do all that for $99 in, and free shipping. And in your starter kit, you can pick out $155 worth of products. I am not only going to show you how I came up with $154.40 worth of products that you can get for $99, but then I'm going to show you how to use those products as well. And it's all going to focus around this Dino Roar suite. You can get everything in the suite, plus a couple really cool tools to make things with. Okay, so this is what some of the projects look like. And that's what the stamp set and accompanying designer series paper look like. It's my favorite because it's not just for adults. It's for kids as well. And it's very whimsical and fun. You get a pack of designer series paper. And it is 12 sheets, double-sided paper. All kinds of bright and vibrant colors. And really nice designs. Okay, like, like just check these out. And then one paper I cut up so much that I don't have the actual full sheet of it anymore but I cut it up into little pieces and on that paper or there were two of those there were two sheets I cut out all these cute little dinosaurs using my scan and cut and I did other tutorials on how to do that how to cut out pattern paper using the scan and cut so I've already made loads and loads of cute little things with it okay what we're gonna make in this video using our starter kit example is this cute little it's I have tic tacs inside but it's a cute little treat holder Okay, we're going to make it out of the materials that come in your kit. So this, this here is called denim ribbon. Something that can't, comes in the suite that I suggest. I suggest getting the whole suite because you get the coordinating products. So denim ribbon goes with anything. It's just a denim color. Okay, and then you get the um, little, there's a little enamel shapes. I need to clear up some room here. I'm going to put this down. Here, right, let's, let this, let's put this in here so you can look at it. Cute little enamel shapes, which were just here a minute ago. Okay, we will get back to that. I can't believe it. My cat must have moved them. I blame everything on the cat, by the way. Okay, you get these dies. These are called dino dies, and we will use the dies. They go along with the stamp set, so of course you would need what's called a big shot to be able to cut out those dies. I'm going to put the papers down. Okay, I'm going to put this this down because I want to show you this next. Okay, you get a scoreboard. You'd get this one. This is the sample starter kit I came up with. You get this. This board is called Simply Scored. I like it because it comes with little things where you can mark off. Like I'm always making cards, so I mark off 4.25 all the time. And then I remember to score that with the accompanying score tool. I remember just while I'm watching TV to score the same thing over and over. In fact, I'm always mass producing my crafts. Okay, we'll show you how to use that score tool in just a minute. You would get a couple inks. I'm going to show you the inks that come with this. Or not come with, that coordinate with, I should say. I'm going to show you the inks that coordinate with this suite. And then, of course, you pick whatever ink colors you want to go along with your starter kit. Okay, so I, I'm suggesting Flirty Flamingo. And I'm suggesting Pretty Peacock. Okay, they're the two that I'm suggesting because they would come in your kit. But other coordinating colors are Old Olive, Pineapple Punch, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, and of course, there are the, there are the enamel shapes I was telling you about that also would go with your suite. Okay, so you get every product in the suite, and including the enamel shapes, two ink colors, the Simply Score tool, and that's not all. I came up with a couple other items that you could still get and not be over your $155, and one is this punch. I use it all the time. Delightfully, Delightful Tag Topper Punch. Okay, that would come in your kit. And then I figured for good measure, go into the, the clearance section because these are only a couple dollars on clearance, and these are just wonderful. These are these little, they're called, there's 12 of those in there. Iridescent Boxwood Reef Reese embellishments so these are great for winter coming up and you can actually twist them and just make make them whatever shape you want so you can actually twist them and add them to the little little treats we're making or just I'd probably wait for the I would just add them to your cart because 
you get $155 worth of things. We don't need to actually use those. Okay, so let's do this. Let's say you have, okay, you have a Big Shot machine, okay, and you have, I'm assuming you have a Big Shot and a little cutting tool. I'm just going to use my, my Cricut cutting tool for now. That's what I'm using. Okay, and we're assuming you have some glue or adhesives, okay, and a stamping block because you're going to need those things to follow along with this. Now, I would say if I were you, it doesn't matter what you have in your house right now, uh, you can follow along with me and just go ahead and get some, get out some paper and try this little activity I'm about to show you. Okay, even if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you already have other materials, it doesn't matter. Follow along with what I'm about to make. You need a two inch strip of paper. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the whole two inches right now because my, over here, it, it lines up to two inches. Okay, I'm gonna cut a longer one than I need because I'm gonna save the piece, the extra piece. So what I need right now is two inches, got that part? by 6.75 inches, 6.75 inches. By the way, if you're just tuning in or you're like zoning out, we're about to make this because we got a starter kit for $99. We got all this cool stuff in our starter kit. We're about to use it to make something cool is what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna take this piece of paper and we're gonna make it 6.75 inches. Okay, 6.75 inches. Right up to the, right before the seven, these are quarter inch segments. Whatever cutting tool you have, use it. Of course, I would cut these all out ahead of time using my scan and cut. I would cut them out. Probably not with a paper trimmer, but I'm assuming not everybody has that machine. Okay, there we go. We have a piece like this. Now we're gonna score it. Okay, now always score before you punch. There's a reason for that. If I were to punch now, it cuts a little bit of the length off. You need to score first because the, the length will remain true. It's 6.75 inches by two inches. I like to reinforce. I like to say the same things over and over. You might you might say, you're repeating yourself, paper chef. Okay, so you're going to score at three, three inches, okay, and 3.75 inches. Three and 3.75. Okay, what you are left with, and I have to bend this to show you, you are left with two. Ooh, I like that side. I'm going to use that side. Yeah, why not? I'm going to use, the, I'm going to use this side because I'm going to do the opposite of what I did on that one. Okay, I like that, and we're gonna make it, so that way they're three inches on each side. Okay, so this is three inches, this is three inches. And you have your little bottom, which is 0.75 inches. That's, that's the little box we're making. This is the most requested item. I've made it so many times on my channel, and still I get requests to make it to show them all the time, because I make it with all kinds of different materials. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and punch it. I was asked yesterday by a customer, how do you open these Stampin' Up! punches? Okay, you turn them over, when you get them, they're going to be flat. In fact, that's what's nice about them is they store flat. Okay, I you push you push on this lever, and when you push, by the way, you have to squeeze. So I'm squeezing sort of like this, and you're pushing up, and it comes up, and then you store it back flat. Super strong levers that cuts through cardstock. I'm going to push this little treat in or the treat topper, and I'm cutting. I only punch one side at a time, you know, just because they're just to get them even. Okay, so now we have the little treat topper. Yay! Now we're gonna make the little band to go around it. Okay, again, I am I'm really would, I would actually mass produce normally. Here's one I made earlier. Let's see if we can't use this band. Sort of, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking more maybe those little, the little eggs or something with a smaller pattern. Let's check out the little dinosaur eggs. You, you probably want something with a smaller pattern to go around the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna make, we're making this little band for the bottom, 0.75 inches. Again, cut your whole strip, because this time you're gonna get, you're gonna get two out of here. So this one is 0.75, three quarters of an inch. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cute around the bottom, the little eggs. I'm gonna be making some more of these right after this video, because these are so much fun to make. All right, I love this designer series paper. Like I said, it's my favorite in this new catalog. Okay, so six inches, do you want it? Six inches, that's a six. And now you have two of those out of one piece of, out of 1.75 inch strip out of designer series paper, you get two little, so then you can score them all, you can score them at once. That's one little trick I'll show you. In fact, I, I'd probably cut a longer piece and then just, you know, score them and then cut them. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna score them. Let's go, let's score them both at once. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna get my little score tool and I'm laying it there. So you wanna, and it doesn't matter if you use the big side of your score tool or the little side. 
I mean, I like to use the big side for the most part. So big side I'm using. So two, and when I say big, there's, there's two, there's two ends. There's two tips. I'm using the bigger side. So we want to score at two. Okay. Make sure I don't lose focus. My camera likes to go out of focus. So we have two, 2.75. 2.75 and then we want 4.75 and then you want five and a half okay now these little nibs I'm going to call them or little markers your simply scored comes with I think three of them I've already probably lost one um, lost and found I had only found I found one yesterday as well so these little these little markers are for when you use areas a lot and you're doing a lot of scoring you can mark off with the parts so you can remember those. So that, that's a perfect use for this little treat we're making. So anyway, you fold them. So I scored them at once. You could actually score a bigger piece if you're following along and you could just cut it later. You could, you could do all your scoring and then you're cutting. Okay, so what, basically you're making this little band for the bottom of the treat. And let's go ahead and make, I mean, never waste time. You just make them, I mean, not waste time. I don't mean, never waste a good little band. While I'm folding one, and I'm gluing one, I'm gonna glue the other is what I mean. So I was, so basically I would make a lot of little bands, I'd make a lot of little toppers. You just mass produce, do everything, do all of each part of your treat at once. And then you get, then you have a lot more treats done. So let's, so anyway, I fold, I always score first and then I, then I've scored and now I can take my adhesive, use whatever adhesive you're comfortable with. I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on the end of these little tabs. You can use glue, you can use rolling adhesive, you can use snail, Stampin' Up! sells really cool snail adhesive. And by the way, during during tax-free days, if, you, if your state has tax-free school supply days, that is the day of the year to stock up on all your adhesives for the year by Stampin' Up! When I'm talking about dimensionals, uh, snail adhesive, all those things count as school supplies. They are school supplies, they're art supplies, and they count, and those things are tax-free that day. Yay for tax-free days! We have it in Georgia and Florida. I mean, I, that's where I shop. I'm not sure where else they have it. Okay, so there we go. There are the two little bands. We only need one band because we're just making one of these treats. So we'll, once again, we're making this with our new starter kit. Or if you're making it with whatever materials you have. I'm just sharing the starter kit opportunity because it's pretty darn cool, that's all. But I know a lot of you already have the kit are already stamping up demonstrators. Okay, so I'm just gonna make the eggs. What I'm doing now is looking at which way the eggs go. Like, see how that's the egg? It's like you want that facing up, the little half egg, cracked egg. So this is facing up. So now I'm gonna lay this down. I'm laying the treat down that we just cut out. And I'm gonna take the rolling adhesive and I'm putting one strip on each side, but don't put it on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but I didn't put, I guess I'll show it up in the light here. See, I didn't put the, the adhesives on this part. And this part. I didn't put adhesive there because that's the part that stands up. It's on the bottom. And now we're going to lay the little, or now we're not lay. See, there's no adhesive on the bottom. It's on the sides. I'm going to put the egg, the little band of eggs right around the bottom. Okay, super, super cute. I mean, it's meant to be busy. It's meant to be whimsical. This is the whole point of the suite. It's just super adorable. Okay, now let's make a little dinosaur for the, for the front of the suite. I mean, the front of the treat. We'll put the ribbon on it as well. All right, so flirty flamingo is pretty cool, but I want to make this kind of, I want to make this dinosaur because we're going to say you're roarsome and this one doesn't roar. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. I wasn't there, but he's cute too. And you could put like, thanks for being a friend to Saurus on this one. Okay. But let, let's just use, let's just do one just like my example. Okay. For, for good measure. So what we need to do next is we're going to stamp it. Okay. I'm stamping. So I'm taking, just get whatever stamping blocks you have. And I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. So I'm going to open up the Pretty Peacock. Okay. I'm flipping that open. And I'm just looking because I had it. It's amazing how you do a, a tutorial and then like a minute later it's gone. So here's my, I'm just mounting and it's a little stained. You know, my stamp's a little stained because I've used it many colors. I've used lovely lipstick. Use lovely lipstick on something, that's a color, then boy, I, that stains the most. But other colors stain as well. So I'm, I'm, I've mounted my stamp onto my acrylic block. Now I need a little piece of Whisper White cardstock. 
So you just take some, here's some Whisper White cardstock, which would come in your starter kit, by the way. I did add a pack of Whisper White thick cardstock to make cards with into the starter kit, just to make it come up to $154 and 50 or 40 cents or something like that. Okay, we're gonna stamp this little guy and I'm holding it there for a couple seconds. Oops, that didn't come out good. Let's just flip it over and do it over here. You know what? I need my sponge is why. Always try to stamp onto a sponge or onto a platform. My table's not flat, so I'm just using this little sponge I have and that should work this time. So tap, tap, tap on your color and, and then hold it there. Okay, much better. And there's a little even, there's even a little swoosh to give it that little realistic look. Now let's stamp the, the little spines on the back. We're gonna use Flirty Flamingo for that because this, these colors come in the starter kit. Okay, Flirty Flamingo. We're gonna put the spines over here, far enough away from the dinosaur so you can put the dies on top. Okay, let me close my Flirty Flamingo. Get whatever two colors you want to get. In fact, you might already have colors to use with this suite, the coordinate, which is even better. So you got the little gems, put that over there. So now we're going to use the Big Shot. We're using lots of tools here in this example because I like to show my crafty friends how to do things in many different ways. Okay, I'm gonna put the Big Shot up here. And you need, obviously, you need, you need some kind of way to cut your dies. So in this case, I'm using the Big Shot, but you might have a cuddle bug, a cut and boss, um, some, some other kind of die cutting tool. Okay, the sandwiches, meaning the sandwich is what, you, what layers you use when you cut your dies. I use the Big Shot platform first. Because I'm using metal dies, I'm gonna use this thin die adapter. This all comes with the Big Shot, by the way, with Stampin' Up, but we no longer sell it, so you may have it from before. I use a bottom cutting plate, which is already scratched. That's why I write bottom on it. My five-year-old's kids in craft club can do this. Five years old. They know bottom and top. They know how to read that. And then I use the top cutting plate for cutting out the top layer. And the top cutting plate is not scratched as much. It's a little scratched because I have used it a little bit. And sometimes, see, there's a teapot. We did mess up on that side. But anyway, there's a, a top plate for the most part. It's the, the flatter plate, not scratched. So now you're going to lay down this. You're going to lay down your little dinosaurs and you're going to lay your dies. Okay, dino dies. Okay, these are these are coordinating dies that would come in your starter kit. Okay, I'm gonna lay one down on there, and you're gonna lay it like that, right touching the dies. And you need that white part because that's gonna be the white part's gonna be what you make it sort of 3D with. Okay, so like that. And what I like to do is I use painters tape because right away that's gonna slip. If you try to put it in the by the time I turn the die machine the way I need to do it, that's gonna totally slip. In fact, it's already slipped. Okay, I'm gonna put the little piece of painter's tape on the edge there. Okay, and then I need the dinosaur die. And these dies are really cool. We can even make, while I'm here, I'm just gonna make an egg. I never waste a pass through the big shot. I try to put as many things as I can on my platform before I put a pass through. So let's make an egg. Because you've been, you've been hatched is one of the really cool sentiments in the set. And I, I like to have a lot of eggs for that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put down the top plate. That's the top plate, and I'm, that's my sandwich, and I'm gonna roll it through the Big Shot. And making sure when you look through that you didn't, that your tape didn't move. And see that die just moved? You need to make sure they're not touching or your dies will get bent. So I'm moving the egg a little bit farther away. I should have just used painter's tape on the egg as well, because you do not want your dies slipping and, and falling on top of each other, because if they do, they get bent. Okay, don't worry about that cracking noise. It always cracks. And when I, if I'm cutting a lot of dies, the next time I would, I could flip this plate upside down. I can tilt the dies at an angle. I can do different things to like make sure that the plates don't get as warped. Okay, there's my little egg to use for later. In fact, I think that was gonna be really good for Easter time as well, to make little Easter treats. You know, with the little chicks coming out of there. Okay, so, but right now we're doing dinos, dinosaurs. So here, you can put like in the in the one. That didn't center very well. That's okay though. You get the idea. Here we go, here we go. Look how cute. Yes, it did. I think it did look actually. It looks really good. He's cute. And now we can see, he could stick out of here though. Like you could do the you've been hatched sentiment and he could stick out of the egg. 
So that's kind of cool too. That, that makes a good card and I have done that. So let's not lose our die. I'm gonna be storing them on this magnetic sheet, but I just haven't put them on the magnetic sheet yet. That's how I'm gonna try not to lose them. I'm moving the big shot out of the way so we can finish making our treat. So we have come full circle and you can see all the, co all the cool stuff you can get in your starter kit and I'm showing you how to use it right away to make it. And using the same die, you can make bookmarks, you can make other things as well. So now you need little dimensionals or some kind of adhesive. And I kind of like to make it 3D, so I like that they gave you this little extra white strip for that purpose to make it help make it 3D because it kind of hides behind. See, so good to put one down there. I'm using what I'm using now is stamping up mini dimensionals. Some of these things that are going to be on the tax free day. Okay, let's see. Making sure they all stick. Okay, there we go. Put the little dinosaur. Yay for how cute he is. And I think the little little foam dimensional is sticking out the bottom. I don't want that to show. Okay, so there it So there we go. We have a cute little dinosaur for our cute little treat. Let's finish making our cute little treat. Let me zoom in here so you don't have to see of my messy, messy table. There we go. Now we are on the last, we're on the final stretch. What we need to do is attach the dinosaur to here and put the ribbon. So I would always put the ribbon first, then we're gonna make the sentiment. So I put the ribbon first, then I put the dinosaur, I put the candy in last, and the candy being some mini Tic Tacs that I get when I'm traveling. I get these at, put a couple of those in there. I get those at airports and things when I'm traveling. Some of my viewers found them on Amazon, but I think they're too expensive on Amazon. Wait till you, somebody's going through an airport because they're, I don't know why, but they only come at, they only sell them at duty free shops for, most, for the most part. Okay, I'm trying to cut this ribbon. My, my scissors are very, very dull. So I need to, I know, I know I have better craft scissors. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like a little piece of maybe, I don't know, yay, six inches. The way I measure ribbon usually is I use my stamp set and I lay, I measure ribbon, I kind of go like this, so about diagonal across the stamp set, six, seven inches or so. And I cut them at the same angle. And you might have to trim them again once you put them through the treat holder. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that through the treat holder by looping it. I'm gonna loop it like this. This denim ribbon's double-sided, doesn't matter which side. Adds great texture. And it sort of goes with a pretty peacock color, but it's more like it's denim, so it goes with any color. And it also gives your items that sort of kid feel, masculine feel, or whatever sort of feel you're going for because they're, it's a cool color ribbon, okay? I think I can trim it. I don't think it needs to be so long. These don't need to be at so much of an angle. Okay, so there we go. Now, so there's there's our treat. And I'd probably trim the front one a little bit shorter. There we go. Let's, now let's mount our little dinosaur onto the front of the treat using, and then we'll put the sentiment. So we're gonna put the little dinosaur. Now I'm using regular dimensionals because again, I'm like making it 3D. It's really cute. Here we go. And now I'm gonna squeeze it, squeeze the whole thing together. Now he's, he's on there really good. So now we can put the little sentiment. We want your roarsome, your roarsome, roarsome. I think so. We're gonna take the flirty flamingo. We're gonna take the little piece of whisper white cardstock. You have a pack of whisper white cardstock in your starter kit. We're gonna, we're just gonna stamp using the little sponge again. Stamp onto your little sponge. Whisper white cardstock has great ink absorption. If you ever wonder why my stamps come out so well, that's pretty much the secret is, you know, is the secret is the whisper white cardstock. And I'm just gonna now use a pair of scissors to trim around that. So first, hunk it off, like hunk off the little chunk so it's easier to cut with. I make up my own vocabulary words as I go along. So let's, I'm just kind of trimming around. You could, you know, by the way, if you have a lot of shapes, like you cut out with your brother's scan and cut, you can make, you can cut out circle shapes, uh, rectangle shapes. You can even cut these sentiments out, but I just like sometimes just to trim when I'm trying to make it small enough to fit across the chest of the dinosaur. So that's why I'm doing it this way, only so it just fits. Okay. That it fits across without blocking how cute the dinosaur is. Okay, so I've trimmed it. 
And again, I would probably just do a bunch with circles all at once or trim them all at once. Do, do an assembly line. Now let's make them match this guy. Super cute. Let's put it right on the same place so you can still see his little spikes in the back. You're worrisome. And I'm going to put a couple of these little Tic Tacs in there. And there you go. So that's, that's how to make that tag treat. You can do it with your starter kit. And if you want to take these little these little things that you got out of in your starter kit, if, if you want. I mean, you can choose whatever product you want. That's basically the idea behind this is it's build your own starter kit. But if you wanted to add those, you can just add those onto the top of the treat. So thank you for watching. I hope you joined my team. Or I hope you make something awesome today using the techniques I just showed you. So bye for now. This is the Papered Chef.